Hey YouTube, Mark Kaufman here, and today I want to talk to you about the forgotten Tinker knife. Now, it doesn't go by the Tinker moniker like a Tinker small or even a standard Tinker or a super Tinker or even a deluxe Tinker, but this is a knife that I think is the forgotten Tinker and that is the mechanic. Now the mechanic actually just introduces a set of pliers, but if it was a set of scissors, it would then be a super tinker. So in the super tinker, you have the scissors and in the mechanic, you have the set of pliers. Now in the deluxe tinker, you actually do get both of these tools. You get the scissors and you get the pliers, whereas the standard Tinker model, you only get the pen, uh, the large blade, the small blade, then you get the can opener, and then you get the bottle opener with small and large flathead screwdrivers. And then the small Tinker is exactly the same as this, just 84 millimeters. So really quick, I'll pull those off the table and then just leave these here. So this knife is a very interesting knife because it offers a set of pliers. Whereas if you wanted pliers, you either had to go with like a handyman or a Swiss champ. And those knives are substantially thicker. Now the mechanic is actually very thin compared to the handyman. There's the mechanic and that's the handyman. And I have to say, being able to have a set of pliers in such a compact form, even, I mean, even if you think about it, the deluxe tinker is pretty compact, but for me, the majority of times that I use the pliers, I'm actually using them to pull out watch pins in a bracelet or bend gold wire if I'm doing a jewelry repair or even copper wire or any kind of wire or even if I'm doing a repair in the house, that's all I'm using it for. And usually when I have this kind of tool, I'm not really using the set of scissors that comes on the deluxe. If I do use the scissors, it's maybe to open up a small bag or, or anything like that. But even then I may even just use my main blade for opening that bag. So for me, the mechanic is the perfect uh, watchmaker's companion, at least for me, but it would be even better if what Victorinox did is got rid of the small blade and put the watchmaker's tool in here, the case opening tool, put that there and maybe got rid of the can opener and put the pruning blade in there. That would be really interesting to see as maybe a watchmaker um, point of view of a knife or something like that. But this is the mechanic and I personally feel it is one of the forgotten tinkers um, that, that are out there. Now this knife in particular has actually been discontinued. Victorinox discontinued this in I believe 2005. So it's not too old, but I will say this, you're gonna pay some money if you're going to actually get one of these. These are getting harder to find. And I was lucky enough um, to stumble upon this in a listing on eBay. And the guy I think wanted Oh, he, he wanted a very cheap price for it. So I went for it and it's practically not been used. All this wear is pretty much from me. So this is the mechanic. I hope you guys enjoyed this little review and discussion on what it is. So till the next video, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.